హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు వివిధ్ కెమీ యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ దిస్ ఈజ్ విద్యాశ్రీ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో ఐ విల్ బి డిస్కసింగ్ ది ఇంపార్టెంట్ పాయింట్స్ దట్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు రిమెంబర్ ఫార్ టెట్ ఎగ్జామినేషన్ పాయింట్ ఆఫ్ వ్యూ ఫ్రమ్ టెన్త్ స్టాండర్డ్ మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ చాప్టర్ టెన్ క్వాడ్రాటిక్ ఈక్వేషన్స్ ఈక్వేషన్ ఆఫ్ ది ఫామ్ ఏఎక్స్ స్క్వేర్ ప్లస్ బిఎక్స్ plus c is equal to 0 is quadratic equation this is the general form of quadratic equation where a b c are real numbers and a cannot be equal to 0 so ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 is the general form of quadratic equation a b c are real numbers and a is not equal to 0 and this x is variable now i'll tell you how you can find the roots of quadratic equation you can find the roots of quadratic equation by factorization or else you can use the quadratic formula to find the roots say for quadratic equation of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a is not equal to 0 the quadratic formula is given by x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a so this formula is quadratic formula using this we can find the roots for the quadratic equation here the term b square minus 4ac in the quadratic formula it is called as the discriminant it is discriminant of the quadratic equation by knowing the value of discriminant that is b square minus 4ac we can tell about the nature of roots of quadratic equation if the value of b square minus 4ac is greater than 0 then the quadratic equation has two distinct real roots if the value of b square minus 4ac is equal to 0 then the two roots of quadratic equations are equal the quadratic equation has two equal real roots whenever the value of b square minus 4ac is lesser than 0 then the quadratic equation has no real roots so the nature of roots is very important that you might get questions based on this particular factor as well so we will see how the questions will be asked on these topics one more important thing you have to note with respect to roots of the quadratic equation is that root of quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 and 0 of quadratic polynomial ax square plus bx plus c are same so if you are provided with 0 for polynomial of the form ax square plus bx plus c that's 0 as well as root of the quadratic equation of the form ax square plus bx plus c both are one and the same 
सो इफ अल्फा एंड बीटा आर दीरोज ऑफ पॉलिनोमियल ए एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी देन दिस अल्फा एंड बीटा आर ऑल्सो द रूट्स फॉर द क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन ए एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी एंड वी हैव सम ऑफ रूट्स अल्फा प्लस बीटा विच इज गिवन बाय माइनस बी बाय ए सम ऑफ रूट्स अल्फा प्लस बीटा इज गिवन बाय माइनस बी बाय ए and the product of roots alpha into beta is given by c divided by a so this is important to remember so there is a question in the model question paper given by the education department government of karnataka where the question number 111 is based on the concept that is discussed here so if you have not watched my video related to the solution of model question paper you can watch it by clicking on the i button that is appearing on the screen now we will see a few question related to these concepts first one find the roots of the quadratic equation 6x square minus x minus 2 is equal to 0 so here i will use factorization method to find the roots for this given quadratic equation in order to find the roots first we will find the factors for the quadratic polynomial 6x square minus x minus 2 so we will find what are the factors for this particular quadratic polynomial so here is the method how we can do that so the first term and the last term we will multiply so we will do 6x square into minus 2 so that we get minus 12x square so this is how we find which factors we can choose okay and the middle term we have to get by using the factors of 12x square so consider the number 12 that we can get by multiplying 3 to 4 so 3 4 is 12 we have 4 3 is 12 we get similarly 6 2 is and Two sixes are we get twelve, twelve ones are and the vice versa and twelve. So these are the factors that we have for twelve. So three four, two three four six and twelve. Okay. So among these pair, we have to choose two numbers in such a way that when we add or subtract them, we have to get minus x. So the numbers are four and three. We have. so when we multiply this number we should get 12 so minus 12 x square we need to get so i'll write this as 4x and 3x so when we multiply we get plus 12 x square we need to get as minus 12x so among these two factors one should get a negative sign okay so meanwhile you have to check here here we should get minus x so i'll consider 4x as minus and 3x as positive okay so the factors of minus 12x square we have chosen it as minus 4x and plus 3x so we will write it here so it is 6x square and the next term it's minus 4x plus 3x minus 2 is equal to 0 so in place of minus x here we will be writing the factors that we have obtained so now we will simplify so 2x i can remove as common term from first to two terms okay so we are left with 3x minus 2 so here plus 1 no other common term is left out so 3x minus 2 okay so now clubbing these two factors 3x minus 2 and 2x plus 1 are the factors of the quadratic polynomial so now in order to find the roots 
we will equate these factors with respect to 0. We will equate it to 0. So, this will be 3x minus 2 is equal to 0. And 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. So, 3x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 2 by 3. And the other value is 2x becomes equal to minus 1 and x is minus 1 by 2. And therefore, the roots of the given quadratic equation is x is equal to 2 by 3 and x is equal to minus 1 by 2. Either you can find or you can use this method to solve the quadratic equation, I mean to find the roots or else you can use the quadratic formula. So here you have an easy method. You need not go this much lengthier to find the root for the given quadratic equation. So this is how you find the factors, right? So then what you do, you change the sign of this number. I'll write this as plus 4. Then you will divide it by a of quadratic equation. Say a value for the given equation is 6. You will divide the number by 6. And you will change the sign of this term. So that will become minus 3. You divide it by 6. So here we get 2 by 3 and we get minus 1 by 2. So this is the root of given quadratic equation. So this is how you can save your time in solving multiple choice questions. Next question. Find the value of k if the quadratic equation 2x square minus 2 root 2x plus k is equal to 0 has two equal and real roots. It is told that the quadratic equation has two equal real root. That means the discriminant b square minus 4ac is equal to 0. So here in the given quadratic equation a is equal to 2 and b is minus 2 root 2 and c is k and the value of k we have to find. So we will substitute it into discriminant b square is minus 2 root 2 the square minus 4 a is 2 c is k and this is equal to 0. Minus 2 the square it becomes 4 and root 2 square is 2. Minus 4 to the 8 k is equal to 0. So this 4 into 2 is 8. 8 minus 8 k is equal to 0 or the same we can write 8 k is equal to 8 k is equal to 1. So this is how you find the value of k for the given question. Next question. One of the root of the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 is reciprocal of the other only when option 1 a is equal to 2c option 2 a is equal to minus c option 3 c is equal to 2a option 4 a is equal to c this question has been asked in gpstr examination so we will see how to solve this so it is told that one of the root of the quadratic equation is reciprocal of the other so we will consider let alpha and beta be the roots And they told that alpha is reciprocal of beta. We can consider alpha is reciprocal of beta since one of the root is reciprocal of other. So we have to find the condition when this is happening. We have studied two conditions with respect to the roots of quadratic equation, right? Some of the roots alpha plus beta is given by minus b by a and product of root alpha into beta is c by a. So this thing we have studied we will use this and we will find answer to this particular question. So if you look into all four options we have only a and c in those options. So we will consider the product of roots alpha into beta is equal to c by a. Where now we have considered the given condition in the question that one of the root is reciprocal of other. We will substitute that. Alpha we have considered it as 1 by beta. So I will substitute that which is equal to C by A. So this beta and beta gets cancelled. 
c by a is equal to 1. So, this means that c is equal to a or a is equal to c. So, therefore, the right answer is option 4 a is equal to c. So, for the given quadratic equation, when a and c becomes equal, one of the roots will be reciprocal of the other. By knowing these concepts that is discussed in this particular video, we can solve any questions related to quadratic equation. Once again, I let you know what are the things that you need to remember from quadratic equations chapter. You need to remember the general equation or the general form of quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. A, B, C are the real numbers and A is not equal to 0. So then if it is asked to find the roots of quadratic equation, you can use factorization method or by using quadratic formula, you can find the roots for given quadratic equation. So in the quadratic formula, we have term square root of B square minus 4AC. So that is termed as discriminant. Okay. So, based on the value of discriminant, we can identify the nature of roots of quadratic equation. If the discriminant is greater than 0, the two roots of the quadratic equation are real and distinct. If discriminant is equal to 0, the two roots are equal. If discriminant is less than 0, then that quadratic equation has no real roots. And also you have to note that the roots of the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 and 0 of the polynomial ax square plus bx plus c are one and the same. So, if you are given the quadratic polynomial and its 0 is given, the root is same for the quadratic equation. Then we have sum of roots alpha plus beta which is given by minus b by a and product of roots which is given by alpha into beta which is equal to c by a. So, if you remember these points with respect to the quadratic equations, you can solve any of the problems related to quadratic equations. I hope you have understood the concept. Thank you for watching. Like and share the video if the contents provided are useful to you. Subscribe to my channel if you are watching it for the first time. Do not forget to press the bell icon to get notified about the upcoming videos.